Karin, it's good to have you here. How do you feel? Nice to be here. Uh, I feel great. This is the final week. This is the final week and we're getting close to the end and to the final. Karin took over from Christer Björkman in 2020 and you have been the show producer in really uh, difficult years and during the coronavirus and this year during the uh, security issues that Sweden has. How does it feel to be leading such a big program here? Well, uh, well, first of all, I am not alone at all dealing with all these difficult issues and uh, maneuver Melody Festival and through difficult times. We are, I mean, I am just one of so many <laughs> great persons. <laughs> no, but um, for me, since my, my, uh, my goal is to create a competition with strong songs and great artists who um, really make a mark on the audience and the in the radio and Spotify afterwards. Uh, it's been it's been good years though. Um, corona made people very very creative, um, and the people still need to hear new music and they love to watch mellow. Uh, but of course, there's been some some difficulties along the way, but we we seem to be finding our way through them. We find creative ways to make mellow happen. That's amazing. How challenging has it been for you this year that Sweden is in level four of terror threat? Is it difficult to like organize the whole uh, security uh, procedures around the whole contest? Oh, that's a question uh, I cannot answer. Uh, I'm not really in charge of that or have... Uh, yeah, it's the wrong part. You, you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> that's all right. So uh, last year, Lorin won with Tattoo. And you have played an important role for this because you kind of proposed the song to Lorin. How did this happen? Tell me more about this. Um... Well, it, uh, like always, uh, a success in Mello is always a teamwork. And since, since I've known uh, Thomas Gerson for years, we have a, 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 a you know, we, we talk on the phone all the time. I, I meet with songwriters all the time. So I get to hear a lot of songs, a lot of demo songs. And uh, so it was uh, uh, Thomas who sent me the demo. And I mean, quite, quite instinctively, uh, we both thought of Lorian, and um, so he, he, he was a he was a big part of uh, everything coming together. Uh, but we worked really close together, and also with uh, Lorian herself, of course, and the other songwriters and uh, the record company and everybody. We just, you know, joint forces to make this happen. It's amazing, and you kind of had the intuition that she's going to win, and you had a tattoo <laughs> while you were in. <laughs> yeah. Can you show it to us? Yes, I can show it. Now it be, yeah, when when she won Melody Festivalen, I told everybody that we're going to win Eurovision, and since it had become a little gimmick between me and Thomas Gerson, to whenever we texted each other, uh, we uh, I sent this. Um, yeah, what do you call it? Uh, the, 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 yeah, the emojis, the spokula, the, the magic, ma magic ball. Magic ball. Yeah. So I said, I, yeah. So I said to Thomas, if we if we win Eurovision, which I'm just 100 percent sure we'll do, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a tattoo of that. And two weeks before we went to Liverpool, I got a tattoo, but I didn't show anyone until on the Sunday after. So this is the one. Can you see it? This one. Ah, that's amazing. Great. So I just wore long sleeves throughout the days in, in Liverpool, but at breakfast on the Sunday I had a short sleeve and I showed Thomas, see look what I've done. And he was like, When did you have time to do that? And I said, I did it two weeks ago. That's <laughs> amazing. So fast forward to this year. Um, 
there was something new in the contest, Final Qual. Uh, there have been many comments around this new concept that maybe the singers from the fifth heat got advantaged over the others that didn't have time to like sing on stage again. Um, do you have any comment on this? I think it's a little too early to make to jump to conclusions uh, to work with Melody Festival and to work with the format of the TV show is something we we try to make changes every year. Um, so when 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 we have a winner on Saturday and we will g go back to work the week after <laughs> or in two weeks, we will sit down and have a a deep talk and think it through and yeah and then we can make maybe change something or just tweak details uh, so I think it's a, li a little too early for me to jump to any conclusions mm -hmm. and uh, from the finalists do you have any of the acts that you think that could win the whole thing in Malmö yes yes I do uh, and I mean that's the intention and that's the ambition I work with every year. I want us to win every year. I want to find the strongest songs and the strongest artists that can compete and really, really win. But yeah, this year, absolutely. I won't say who and I won't say how many, but I think there's more than one this year that could um, win the whole thing. Amazing. Thanks a lot for coming uh, and having this nice chat with me. And uh, see you again, see you at the final show, and also see you in the next years to come. Absolutely. And in Malmö for Eurovision. Of course. Yeah. Bye, everyone.